now talk to Alex Salmond, I believe. <laughs> Alex Salmond. Well, what's, what, to what do you attribute your success tonight? Oh, I think the leadership of Nicola Sturgeon, I would have thought, generally. <laughs> You're a very modest man, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, it's uh, it, modesty becomes me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you worry uh, that your country is now virtually a one-party state? Uh, no. I, I, what I'm interested in is that people in Scotland spoke with uh, are speaking with a united voice. Uh, a Scottish lion is roaring this evening, Jeremy. And I think Westminster, of whatever political complexion, will find it very difficult to ignore that voice. You could, of course, be uh, almost exclusively SNP in Scotland and uh, facing an England that is dominated by the Tory party, couldn't you? Well, let's, go, let's get all the results in, Jeremy. I mean, if we take your own exit poll, then uh, the Tories would still be short of, uh, of a majority and we'd seek to build an alternative progressive alliance in the way that Nicola Sturgeon has outlined. But as I remember politics, uh, when the SNP had three MPs and a, a parliament in 1987, when the Tories had a majority of over 100, we still managed to create a considerable test. stir. Uh, I think we're going to have a, a lot more test, than three MPs at the end of this morning. One, two, three, four, I think five. the majority is going to be a One, lot two, less three, four, than the House like of Commons. I suppose you could take some of the credit for the Tory triumph in England, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. People were scared uh, no, into I voting Tory because they thought they, you might be coming around and putting the thumbscrews on Ed Miliband. No, I think Ed Miliband uh, should take the credit for the Tory triumph in England. I think he should have fought a totally different sort of campaign. If he'd fought the sort of campaign that Nicola Sturgeon fought in Scotland, then he'd be in a much better position this morning. Supposing that... Uh... Is there any possibility of any sort of deal between you and uh, David Cameron if the Tories are just a little bit short of an overall majority? No. None whatsoever? <laughs> Correct. If David Cameron offered you full fiscal autonomy, in other words, control over taxes in Scotland, you would still say no? He won't. You're guessing. No, I'm not. <laughs> if he did. Well, so tell us, what do you think is going to happen now that if there is uh, an SNP majority of the order that's being talked about, you know, almost maybe all but one of the seats in Scotland are in the hands of the SNP, where does that leave the campaign for independence? Well, I would have thought the campaign for independence would have received a, a very considerable boost, but it's not a mandate for independence because no. Nicola Sturgeon outlined our objectives uh, in this campaign, and that was not to take uh, a victory as either a mandate for independence or an independence referendum. Uh, that mandate can come from other elections in Scotland, but obviously it would be a very substantial boost for the SNP. I mean, I can't think of... Uh, anywhere in democratic politics that such a, a mandate has been received from the people of a nation. Nicola Sturgeon said the question of uh, a referendum was closed for a generation. Presumably this sort of victory for the SNP changes that, doesn't it? Well, firstly, the, the, the question of a political generation was actually my quote, uh, uh, Jeremy, and I was reflecting on when referendums normally occur. In the, in the body politic, like the one we had in 79, we have now one in 97. What Nicola has said is that she would need to have some material change in the circumstances before she would put forward the proposal for another referendum. She gave the example of Scotland being dragged out of the European Union against the will of the Scottish people. But I'm in a great position about such questions now, Jeremy. I mean, I can stare at you straight down this camera <laughs> and say that these things are a matter for Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> it's a pleasure to talk to you, Alex. Thanks.